Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrat moves to give 16-year-olds the vote. This Democrat dodges one for the ages. A political party that has already proven it will stop at nothing to win elections, whether through rigging congressional districts through the courts or making it easier for illegal aliens to vote, is taking a new step toward lowering standards in American politics, giving 16-year-olds the right to vote, including in presidential elections. According to The Washington Post, a bill before the Washington, D.C., City Council to lower the voting age in the district is the brainchild of Council Member Charles Allen, a Democrat who seems to think puberty is great preparation for politics. And from a liberal perspective, the argument might even make sense. After all, what other group of Americans have spent literally their entire lives being cared for, have never been held responsible in any meaningful sense for the decisions they make, and are almost abysmally ignorant about the world beyond their own neighborhoods? That's practically a profile of Democrat voting roles. But even some Democrats should be shuddering at an idea this inane. After all, Democrats are parents, too. And while there might well be some parents of 16-year-olds who consider their offspring to be mature enough to choose the leaders of their cities, states and countries, it's a good bet that most understand the world is a safer place when teenagers are being kept safely out of responsible positions. No one seriously disputes that teenagers, as a rule, are not built for impulse control. Anyone who does dispute it can ask the nearest middle school or high school teacher for a more informed opinion. And when it suits their agenda, Democrats generally argue in favor of higher age restrictions on things that require maturity, like, say, making it a law that a gun purchaser has be at least 21. When they passed Obamacare in 2010, Democrats even decreed that young adults could be on their parents' health insurance policies up to the age of 26. Conservative commentator Ann Coulter argued at the time that it was a good reason to raise the voting age for these hatchlings who refused to leave the nest. Clearly, the party of government dependency is not all that interested in making Americans stand on their own two feet from an early age. Naturally, quoth the Post, Allen and his like-minded Democrats were inspired by the March for Our Lives demonstration in the district last month. What Democrat wouldn't be inspired by a gang of gun-grabbing ignoramuses descending in large numbers on the nation's capital to engage in fascistic threats to Americans' constitutionally guaranteed rights? Unfortunately for Allen and his ilk, the reality was that 90% of the participants in the March for Our Lives sham were older than 18. He would have known that if he had read the column The Washington Post published two weeks before he introduced his bill into the council. Then again, the Post reporter who wrote about Allen's bill should have known that, too. But those are just facts. And Democrats, for all their talk, don't really care about such things. Democrats used to consider the right to vote so sacred that the marchers behind Martin Luther King Jr. were willing to be beaten and jailed for it. Before the 19th Amendment, suffragettes went on hunger strikes in prison to demand the right to vote for women. Now, driven by an immoral craving for power, Democrats want to give the right to vote to teenagers who have barely learned to drive and think eating Tide Pods is a great way to achieve Internet celebrity. Democrats have lowered themselves and the country's discourse before, but this scam is one for the ages. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.